Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's to another video and I know it has been a very, very long time. I feel like I haven't posted in like a solid month and I'm gonna get into as to like why I haven't been posting and stuff. Um, but today I thought I would do a little like chit chat, get ready with me and then we can kind of like talk about why I haven't been here and like some other things that I have on my mind um, and just do a little get ready with me. And I'm just gonna get started and like talk as I go because I feel like I have all these talking points that I want to mention and I'm trying to like organize it in the video so that it makes sense. I'm getting ready right now to take some vlog photos. So this is kind of like my everyday kind of makeup look. Um, I've been loving posting on my blog. I've been kind of updating that a little bit more than my YouTube channel. I've been having so much fun over there, but I'm gonna get into that a little bit later on in the video. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get started. So I've already put some moisturizer on my face as well as sunscreen, but I wanted to ask what sunscreen have you guys been using because I've been using this Ven one. I actually did an entire blog post on this, so if you guys are interested in that, I'm gonna be linking it down in the description box, but um, I am still looking out for a new sunscreen, so let me know which one you guys are using. Um, so yeah, I already did that, that's already kind of sitting on my face. And I'm gonna be starting out with some foundation. I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the matte and poreless one. And this one is in the shade 112. So the reason as to why I haven't been posting. So, okay, so I feel like I, during the pandemic, I don't even know if YouTube is still flagging that word, but whatever. So during the pandemic, like I was having a little bit of fun posting on YouTube and stuff. And then I feel like now that things are kind of going a little bit more back to normal, I feel like most of the things that I'm seeing is like travel vlogs and people like going on vacation and stuff. And I am not going on vacation quite yet. Um, I have some plans for the fall, but um, nothing quite this summer. So I was a little bit stuck on like what to post and YouTube has been so dry lately. So that's been kind of like on my mind mind but the reason as to why I also haven't been posting is and you can probably tell from my voice I actually had COVID like a week ago and I'm still having some lingering like symptoms like I still get like chills and headaches and I'm exhausted like I'm so tired um and my voice just sounds like really, really funny. And the thing is like, I was working on this outfits of the week video and I was like halfway done filming it and I wanted to do something a little bit different and do like a voiceover and everything. Um, and then I got COVID so I couldn't keep filming. And so now I have all this like random footage and I kind of started filming some other outfits. So I think I'm just gonna like combine them all and just do like an outfits of the week video anyway, just because I already filmed so much footage. Um, but I wanted to do, like I said, like the voiceover and everything, but my voice just sounds so funny that it just doesn't sound very good. So I was hoping that that would kind of like go away so that I could actually film the voiceover part. Um, and that's, that was the video that I was kind of working on to post during this entire absence that I haven't been posting, but I felt kind of awkward just posting something without addressing where I've been. So yeah, there's that. Um, and then like what I was saying is that YouTube has been so dry lately. Like I feel like I haven't been able to find content to watch or just in general, just not spending that much time on YouTube. And then I finally pegged down like why that is. And do you guys remember, or not remember, do you guys know how there's like the recommendation side, like when you're watching a video? So before it used to be recommendations related to the video that you're watching, as opposed to just recommendations targeted towards you. So like if I'm searching, Titanic or something the recommended videos are just like beauty videos from like one channel that I watched and not related to the Titanic And I feel like before you would just kind of go on like that rabbit hole and you would go from like video to video to video Because the recommended ones were related to what you were watching if that makes any sense and I feel like that's such a much better way to like find new content and new channels to watch and new types of videos. So I was trying to find some fashion videos to watch and I honestly could not find anything. Like I was getting so frustrated. Like I don't even know, oh my God, I just got foundation all over this one hair. And so I've been trying to find like fashion content to watch because that was like what I used to love watching. It's all like the fashion content. And there is just nothing, like nobody's posting. Like I don't know if it's just like the algorithm is just like not showing me videos to watch. Like I don't understand nobody's posting. I'm gonna put some concealer on. I have been using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer for, I'm not even joking, like since I started wearing makeup. I love this one. I feel like it's like, I feel like I'm very loyal when it comes to brands and the products that I like. So if I like a certain product, I will continue buying it. I won't like jump from like brand to brand. Like I feel like I'm very loyal when it comes to brands. I'm actually doing like a whole blog post on that. Um, 
Anyway, like I was gonna mention, so I have been having so much fun posting on my vlog. Like, I feel like there was like a time in my life when I was like obsessed with like fashion bloggers. Obviously, I feel like if you're into like, sorry, if I'm like out of breath or like sniffling as I talk, it's because it's my COVID symptoms. Anyway, so I, there was a time where I was like obsessed with fashion bloggers and I would go on my laptop and I would like look at all their new blog posts and see what everybody's up to, what products they're using. And it was just such a different world than it is now. Like I was actually debating on doing either like a video or like a whole blog post talking about how like influencers have changed over time um, and how different things are and the dynamic between like the relationship between like the audience and the creator or like fashion blogger or like whatever the person posting I feel like it's so different now than it used to be like I remember being like obsessed not obsessed that sounds weird but like being like very interested in like certain people that would post and I would just want to see what they're doing like specifically because you're very invested in their life and like what they're doing and like you want to buy the products that they're using as opposed to now where it's more like you don't really have as much of a personal relationship with the person you just kind of follow people and then people try like the viral things that are going on or like viral things that's on TikTok or like whatever like you don't really have that like attachment to the person that is posting if that makes any sense like and I feel like that is such a drastic change like I don't know if it's because since there's so many influencers it's a little bit hard to kind of be invested in their life because you follow so many people or like I don't know I feel like people are just posting to be influencers and they don't really make an effort to try to make like create a relationship with their audience if that makes sense like I feel like they're just kind of posting I don't even know if what I'm saying makes sense but I feel like in my head it makes sense but anyway so that's kind of like my thought on it Obviously, if I did a video or like a blog post on it, I would spend more time to articulate what I'm trying to say a little bit better. Right now, I'm just kind of like all over the place. Um, but that's just something that I have been thinking a lot about lately. And also something that I wanted to talk about. Um, actually, let me mention this before I go into that. Um, so this is my pressed powder and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Translucent Powder. Um, and I just kind of put this like all over my face. Like I have this big fluffy brush which I love. I've had this for years and I think what I like about it is that it kind of looks like a little microphone. You know? <laughs> I don't know why. I just think it's really fun because it just looks like a microphone. Anyway, so what I'll do is I will just like tap it on top like this and then under my eyes I like to just grab it and I literally just press it down as if it's like a powder puff. You know? Like I don't blend it like this. I just kind of press it. And I feel like that just works the best in that area of my face. I kind of do something similar on my forehead, except I just kind of like pat, pat, pat. Anyway, so something that I wanted to mention is, so one of the biggest issues that I'm currently having is how to post across social media platforms, because I feel like it all overlaps, right? So you'd wanna have content that kind of goes across all social media platforms, but then at one point, it just starts to become very repetitive, especially when you have different social media platforms. Like for example, for me, I have YouTube, my blog, Instagram posts, like in-feed posts, and then also Instagram stories. But I feel like whenever I post on my stories, then I end up posting those photos on my feed as well. And then sometimes I post them on my blog. So it just becomes very repetitive, like you're seeing the same content constantly. So I'm trying to find a balance of how I can post on everything without it feeling repetitive, but then also so that all everything kind of like matches and like makes sense across the board if you know what i mean for a bronzer i'm going to be doing a little bit of contouring i really don't do that much contouring con contouring um but this one is the chanel le beige in number 40. it's just kind of like a bronzy color like this um so then i grab that and then i make like a little line like i just press the brush like a dual fiber brush and i just kind of go there nothing crazy do the line and then I'll just kind of like blend it out. And like that. And then I'm going to be doing blush. I have been loving blush lately. Like I feel like okay, everybody's kind of like on a blush train I feel like um, but I love blush I used to buy so much blush I actually used to buy so much makeup like all the time I had like I feel like we all kind of got stuck on that trap of the like 
beauty guru like makeup collections and they would have so much makeup and I would go to MAC and I would buy so much makeup but then during the pandemic I kind of started going through all of my makeup and wanting to use everything and then buying like a solid makeup collection. I haven't really finished going through all my makeup yet. I'm still going through all of my MAC blushes. Um, this one is the one that I'm currently working on um, and this one is the, oh my god I can't even see it anymore. It's like rubbed off. Uh, Dolly Mix. It's basically like a bright pink. Um, I'm almost done, I already hit pan on it, but anyway, so I use that. So for every day, I kind of like to go for a more plummy kind of undertones for my eyes, just because it makes my brown eyes stand out a little bit more. Um, so I've been using this L'Oreal palette that I've had for like so long, I probably shouldn't even be using it, but you know, I'm not going to throw it out. <laughs> um, so this is the L'Oreal palette, it's La Palette Nude 2, it has all of these um, plummy colors. I feel like it's very similar to the Naked 2 palette, if you remember that palette. Um, but anyway, so I've been trying to go through this. But anyway, so like I was saying, I have been having so much fun posting on my blog. I feel like it really does take me back to the old fashion blogger days. And I feel like back then, the OG fashion bloggers, like those girls were putting out like editorial style content. Like it was incredible the level of quality of photos that they would post and it doesn't even compare it to the things people are posting now like the level has really gone downhill in my opinion um, but I would love looking at all their photos and that's kind of the direction that I really want to take my blog and make it a little bit better I'm still kind of working on it because it is a little bit discouraging because I feel like people don't really look at blogs anymore like no one's really dedicated to looking at them I feel like people only look at blog posts where it's like best places to take photos in Paris, like those kind of blog posts, but I feel like you're not really connecting to the person. Again, similar thing that I was saying before, I feel like you're just kind of going in to see that particular blog post because you want to know where to take photos and then you kind of like exit out and never see that person again. I feel like before you would be very dedicated to like whatever your favorite fashion blogger was posting and I used to love that. So I kind of want to be posting on there and I'm trying to get past the idea that no one's really looking at it and I'm just kind of posting it because I want to improve my own photo skills and writing skills and just posting in general. So I've been having a lot of fun on there so I would really love it if you guys checked it out. I'm going to be a little bit more consistent. I have been more consistent this summer but I feel like especially for the rest of the year I am going to be very consistent on there and I just I don't know, I've been having so much fun. Um, it almost takes me back to, I don't know how many of you guys are gonna remember this, but do any of you guys remember Lookbook? That website was my life. Like I would get home from school and I would get my little notebook and I would sit on Lookbook for hours and just kind of start making lists of things that I like needed to buy, like knee high socks or like this colored dress or like whatever. And then when I would go shopping with my mom, I would bring my little piece of paper of things that I wanted to buy because I was just so inspired by what all of these girls or even guys, there were so many guys that I would follow uh, as well. They just had the most amazing style. And I feel like we should really bring that website back because it was just the website and then you post your outfit photo and like that's it like there's no like needing to show off anything like it is so different from like what Instagram is you just post your one photo of your outfit and like that's it it's just outfit photos like you don't have anything else mixed in and there was no sponsored like posts or like ads or anything to get in the way like, it was just a good time and I wish we'd really bring that back I know it's still active I like casually still post on there from time to time and people are posting on there but obviously it's not nearly as much as in its prime yeah that was a really good time on the internet lately I've been using a lot more black liquid liner but today I'm gonna go back to my old uh, everyday makeup look and I'm just gonna be using a little bit of shadow and I'm using this really dark kind of plummy color and I'm just gonna create a little wing um, and I just have this like angled brush um, so I'm gonna do that let me just I'm gonna be quiet for like one second while I do this And then I'm going to be putting on some mascara. Um, I've been using this mascara for a really long time. It's Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I was testing out the CoverGirl uh, Exor... Oh my god, how do you read this? Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen Mascara. Um, I did an entire blog post on it and I do like it except I feel like if it's too hot outside it does smudge. So I kind of went back to my 
go-to trusty Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. So definitely recommend. It is, in my opinion, the best drugstore mascara. I would never spend money on a high-end mascara because I feel like I just use this up so fast that I just I would be wasting money constantly rebuying high-end mascara when this one works perfectly fine. Um, so I don't think I can do this on camera. So I'm just gonna go off camera for a second and just put my mascara on. So like one second. So that is it with one coat of mascara. Does anybody else feel like a complete alien when they have not done their eyebrows yet, but they already did their mascara? I don't know how girls rock the bleached eyebrow look because I would honestly look like I just stepped out of Mars. It's not a cute look for me. So I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I feel like I've mentioned this in so many videos. I've been using this for a super long time since it was like a really popular thing to use. I don't even know if it's like product people use anymore um, but I still really like it um, I'm gonna attempt to do this from all the way over here because I feel like my mirror just because of the camera like my mirror is really far away um, let's see how this turns out not bad for far away That looks so much better. So let me know in the comments, guys, who are we watching on YouTube? Who is everybody watching? I want to find fashion content that they don't have to be vintage either. Like I just want to see fashion content that's actually good and like high quality. Um, so let me know in the comments below. I'm tired of seeing all of these YouTube videos of people wearing joggers and oversized sweaters and then doing outfits of the week videos in front of a white wall with a garment rack beside them and it's literally joggers and leggings and sweaters I'm over it. I want to see really good outfits. So let me know if there's anybody that you watch that you really like their fashion content, whether it's vintage or not. Let me know in the comments below because I am on the hunt for new people to watch on YouTube or even just bloggers or Instagram people like literally Instagram people, oh my god, I sound like I am like 80 years old. Um, anybody that you see on social media, let me know in the comments below who you're into. I would love to know. I'm working on this blog post of my favorite beauty products and like my holy grails items that I have been using for a really long time. So that is what I'm getting ready for right now. That's why I'm not doing like intense heavy makeup or anything because it's more of a beauty video oh my god <clears throat> my voice sounds so annoying i uh, honestly i apologize for how annoying my voice sounds in this video Let me add a little bit more here mm -hmm. So now for the final touch is lipstick, and I feel like finally my makeup will all come together. Um, this one is the Chanel lipstick in the color Gabrielle, which is number 444, I believe. Yes. Um, this is my favorite red lipstick. It is just amazing. Let me get a mirror. Look at the difference that makes. Just the lipstick just kind of like makes my entire face look way more complete. I am obsessed with this lipstick. I actually just bought, like, like I literally have the bag. I literally just bought another one the other day because I didn't want to run out. It is the best lipstick, hands down. Okay, so that is a pretty much that. Um, I do have to do another brush through in my hair. I didn't really show how I brushed my hair out because I did a video like that, like, I don't know, a couple months ago, maybe like a month and a half ago of me just brushing my hair out. <laughs> I think the biggest issue that I have is getting too much volume like up here and I try to like squish it down. So yes, I do want to apologize this is probably like a really random video and probably something not very exciting to watch after I've been gone for like an entire month but um, I'm going to probably have this video up on Wednesday, today's Tuesday so if I can get that edited I'll probably post it tomorrow. Um, and then my outfits of the week video is almost done so that'll probably be going up on Monday, I want to say. I'm going to be filming one more look on Friday, I think. So then that'll be nice and done after the weekend. Let me pin this up like that. Where are my oh, bobby pins? Did I ever show you guys this? I'll show you guys this in a second. Let me pin it and then I'll show you. Is this 
this not the cutest little container for bobby pins? It's a little glass one and it's like an oval shape so it fits the bobby <laughs> the bobby pins perfectly and then it has a little lid with a little bird on it and that matches everything else that I have in my bathroom that has birds on it. I'm just going to hairspray my hair but I don't want to get hairspray all over my dress so I have these little thingies. It's like a little makeup little jacket thing so I'm going to put that on just because I don't want to get hairspray all over my dress. I found these at the thrift store and they are so convenient because you just put it on and then it covers the top part of your dress if you don't want to get makeup on it or like hairspray or anything and then you just tie it. And I have it in like a light blue color and then I also have a pink one. Okay. And then I just add like a bunch of hairspray. I'm not really leaving my house today so I'm not adding as much as I would normally add if I was leaving my house just because I'm not going anywhere, so it doesn't really matter. As long as it holds up for the photos, it's fine. Here, and here, and that's good. I'm like, I can like taste hairspray in my mouth right now. I always do that. I like walk through the little cloud. Um, okay, so there's that. I'm gonna grab my ribbon. Should I wear this pink ribbon or this pink ribbon? I feel like this one. More than that one, I think. I feel like this side always gets all like puffed out. It takes a little bit of time for it to like not look like a fluff ball. Um, but anyway, so this is what the makeup looks like. I feel like this lighting doesn't do me any favors, but here is the makeup, um, and yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Sorry, that was a very happy little <laughs> jump. Um, th this is as much energy. I'm not. I'm not joking. This is as much energy as I've had since I had COVID um, because I have been falling asleep at like 10 o'clock, and I never fall asleep that early. I've been exhausted. So this is. I'm using up all of my energy to film this video right now, so I'm probably gonna crash like right after I film this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this video. Hopefully it was entertaining enough. I know it's a little bit underwhelming after not posting for like an entire month. Again, my head was just like all over the place with what kind of content to post or like what was even going on, like what everybody's interested in. I feel like it's a very big transitional period. Like I feel like right after the pandemic, it's been a little bit transitional. Like I feel like everybody's just posting travel content and there's not a lot of focus focus on fashion anymore or I don't know maybe that's just like what the algorithm is throwing at me so if you're on a different boat and you're seeing tons of fashion content let me know in the comments below who you're following what kind of content you want to see if you have any requests for this channel or my blog or suggestions or just anything related to anything that I talked about in this video let me know in the comments below I, I will be posting my blog down below as well with the blog post that I mentioned in this video just because I've been having so much fun posting on there so I would love it if you guys check that out um, I'm gonna go shoot these photos and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!